everybody it's Mel from everything Marmy. how are you I almost had to think again like do you ever do that do you ever forget that when you're filming or when you're talking to somebody the word you want to say just absolutely disappears and you're left with nothing it happens to me all the time folks all the time so um a quick little fun story before I begin showing you what I found today my Friday finds I brought some bananas into my house. So you know where this story's going, right? A couple of bananas, I think three bananas. Three bananas suddenly produced an enormous amount of fruit flies. Yes, so I had to set up fruit fly traps and I still have about six little fruit flies flying around and they're driving me absolutely bonkers. I don't like bugs in my home. I love bugs, but they can be outside. Where do these things come from? How do they exist? Are they little, like, Anybody, do you know the aspects of fruit flies? I'm going to start researching them. They must come in on on the bananas as little uh, hatchlings that are ready to go because, boy, when they come, they come fast. So I had to set out traps. And what you do is you fill a little container full of vinegar and with some honey, and you add a drop of Dawn dish soap, and you cover the whole thing with plastic and an elastic band real tight, and then poke a couple of little holes, and that'll kill them. So, so far, I'm down some, but I hope I'm down them all the way. And um, it's really bad because I'll write all night, and I'll come down for, you know, coffee or whatever, and, like, these things are just flying around <laughs> hanging out in my kitchen as uninvited guests. Okay, let me show you what I got. I got this to start with, which is a nice bag. And I should tell you the, the origin of why I even went to Value Village because I wasn't going to. But I found it for my daughter, who doesn't really tell me these things, but I am a, a member of Value Village, which means like they send you emails and stuff, but I haven't been sent any emails from them. So it's a back to school sale. So anything that's bags or shoes or clothing or um, anything that can be construed to be part of a back to school um, item, except for, except for, get this, binders and stationery and all of that. There's no sale on that. But for clothing and bags and stuff, 30% off. So I was in like a shoe in, like, yeah, please. So I said to my daughter, I'll drive her in to work. So I got, I started off and I found this bag because I, I have a bag that I, I will show you in just a moment. But that bag uh, became full uh, as I was loading my cart up because I decided to buy clothes. And before I begin, I'd just like to thank uh, Tony again for my t-shirt. Tony gave me this t-shirt about two years ago. And so I've had this t-shirt from Tony for about two years. And I'm making a point to wear it more because I have like ratted it out and made it like a little grungier for me. Um, and it's such a nice t-shirt. It's such a nice, and and the fact that she put everything on Marmy on it. Thank you so much, Tony. Um, so let me begin. So this bag, actually, I'll show you this bag once I empty it out. And I, I'm just home, so um, I don't even know what all is in here. But I spent just under $70, and the stuff that wasn't on sale, I did have a coupon for, uh, $20, up to $20 off, to off of 50 So um, there's some things that didn't count. But this bag itself is an indigo bag. It's got this lovely green color, and it has this... Um, matching little wallet piece here and it was $10.99 before the sale so that was a heck of a lot better than just buying say a, a, a value of village small bag which was two dollars or their large bags for four dollars I just thought why not so the other thing I found was this Betsy Johnson wallet and when I did my my purse for my daughter with the Betsy Johnson bag with the white hearts. Um, I didn't have a wallet for her so I got this one and it has the same material, purple material in there with the hearts. So I'm going to clean this right up and then I'll give it to her um, and she'll like that. So I picked up that wallet 
And then I picked up this little pouch here and it was a little bit overpriced, I thought, because even with the discount, it was still $3.99 and then the discount. But I really just love the charms on the end here, the stars. So I figured I could use those and then replace this little charm here with something else for my purse because nobody really sees it in my purse but I could use it for junk journal making so I got that pouch and it's just black on the inside but I love the size of it it's really tiny and compact it'll hold a couple of little bare essentials and my purse has gone extremely small lately and then I bought two CDs from U2. One is uh, Zeropa, and the other one, I can't tell you the title because I don't know, um, but they were both $3.99. This one here, and these are the songs. In the back, and then this one here. So these were part of the, the different, the coupon that I had. And then I found this bag of beads and it's quite a big bag and those beads are beautiful white shimmery and the pink and I paid $3.99 before the discount on those and then I found this keychain and once you start making beads and stuff like that you appreciate keychains like this that have the beads on it but look at that isn't that charming that little girl these beads they're all done up there's a little butterfly in there, you know, so if I wanted to deconstruct this, it's got a lobster claw on the top and it was $2.99. It's really cute. I mean, I could even take that off and glue it on something if I wanted to. And then I bought this pattern for Cabbage Patch dolls because I've purchased a, do a doll um, with a glass head and uh, it's it's got something in its body that makes it weighted. And uh, it reminds me of my mom. And it, of course, my, my daughter uh, loves dolls like that. So I purchased it for her and she would like me to make some clothes for it. So I thought that these would be perfect when I seen this pattern. And then I found an old Magic Times textbook. I think it's a grade two old 1983 textbook. And... Um, I know it's copyrighted in 83 because I've already looked, but it's got a lot of the old images and stories in it. And I just thought it was awesome how at the back of the book, it just reminded me, it brought me right back to school in that, that time. And in the beginning too, it has all the people that checked it out. Now at Value Village, you pay $1.29 here and then for four books and then you get the fifth one free. So I got this, please try to remember the 1st of October. And I just thought that was so cute. The illustrations in this one are just awesome. Vibrant and bright. I got that one. Then I got Winnie the Pooh Bedtime Stories. Look how immaculate this book is. Just immaculate for $1.29, you can't go wrong. I mean, even our dollar store is $1.25. You wouldn't find this book there. And the pictures are just incredible. And my theory is, is we're all Winnie the Pooh characters at some point in our lives, sometimes with all in the same day. And then I found this Cinderella book, and it's a pop-up Cinderella book. Somebody has put uh, masking tape love masking tape on the side but look at that isn't that neat every page has a different paw pop let's see if i can get another one look at that gorgeous right and instead of opening them all up i'll open up just the last one here maybe one more sorry about that squeak okay castle so that was kind of a really neat find and the last one I found is a young adult book by Frances Hogson Burnett the secret garden and the illustrations in this one I mean look at the thick book look how well put together it is it's got this flip out uh, cover amazing illustrations in this book amazing illustrations Francis Hart 
Hogs and Burnett, she wrote The Little Princess, which is one of my all-time favorite children's stories. And the illustrated by Inga Moore. So that was that book there. Just to show you. Isn't that beautiful? So I got those books. That was the only books I got. And the rest I got were clothes. And bear with me as I show them to you. Um, cause they just kind of throw them in the bags, you know, like it seems like when you're at Value Village, everything is in a big rush, but I've got this shirt, a button down shirt, and I got three items that were like this color. And this shirt is a Pennington shirt, which is for the big and beautiful like myself. Then there was this shirt as well, which I don't know, was it Pennington's? Yeah, this is also Pennington's. Okay, I got that one. And then where's the third shirt of that color? Here it is. So this one is also, no, this one's a Walmart brand, George. But I like the little tie at the bottom there. And then I got this one, which was, the brand is Old Navy. I like the wide neck. And that was the fourth shirt. And I did get a skirt. And I believe this skirt was from Pennington's as well. It's a really long three quarter length skirt. It's got the crinoline at the bottom. So that was a nice find. And then I bought two dresses. This is going to be a nice one to wear. Um, now, actually, as the weather uh, starts changing, it can be worn with a sweater, it can be worn with sandals, it can be worn uh, with rain boots even, because on the West Coast, you'd be surprised at how many times we wear rain boots. It's really nice. <laughs> could be, like, scarves can be added to it. And the final one I got is this black and white um, Penman's Plus. And it looks huge because I am huge, <laughs> but I just love the black and white polka dots. And it's got this bottom like this, and I really love the material of it. So that was my Value Village finds for today. And I hope you all are doing well. I wasn't gonna go out, but the fruit fly thing, I had to get out. I mean, you know. Sometimes it's nice to get out. I didn't expect I'd be going shopping today. Sometimes that happens to me too, but I just felt like going out for a change, but I really hope everybody's doing well and having a wonderful uh, day and that they're looking forward to their weekend and that maybe they'll be having, I don't know, some crafty fun or relaxing or doing what they, you know, want to do, read a book or have a bath or whatever it is you love to do. I hope you get to do it this weekend. And I hope the weather is agreeing with you all. And I hope that you're all feeling well and doing well. And my prayers are sent out to all of you that are not. And um, remember, we're perfectly imperfect. Love one it needed. Thank you for coming and watching my my Value Village haul today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. I, I I can't tell you how grateful I am enough times, and uh, I will see you later. I love you all, and bye for now.